to Beginner's Barbecue Outdoor Episode 2. And today we're gonna be smoking brisket. So as I cut, as I cut more towards the middle, I mean it's starting to look like the videos that I've seen. You can see how it's really tender. It just it just comes off. Oh um, good. It's just the front part I guess. See how this is? See how this is? So I So there you have it guys. It's been three long years since I did another brisket. And as you guys all saw, it was a failure and I never went back at it. My first mistake was, I guess, trying to do a brisket the first time ever using a pellet smoker. Um, I should have waited a little bit till I kind of knew the whole, knew the whole tips and tricks on the, how to use a pellet smoker and what to look for. And like I said, three long years and I think I'm ready to give it a try. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous but I think I'm ready. So let's go ahead and get into this. The rub we have here is from Lane's and it's their brisket rub. So this has black pepper, kosher salt, granulated garlic, thyme, I think that's how you call it, thyme, and paprika. So I think it's gonna turn out really good with this and let's go ahead and get it. So we're gonna go ahead and smoke this fat side down. So let's go ahead and do the back of the fat side first. I got this brisket at uh, Fred Meyer, had a great deal, so I had to do some of the cutting. Sorry if it doesn't look professional, but I did the best I can. So let's go ahead and add some of our brisket seasoning. Go ahead and give it a little pat. Turn it around, do the same thing. All on the sides. So here we go, how are we gonna cook this, right? So we're gonna put it at 225 degrees. Right now it's 11 o'clock on the dot. Um, so we're gonna let it cook all night for eight hours without me touching it or anything. So we're gonna be back at seven in the morning to check where we're at. We're supposed to be our internal temp that we're going by uh, for the first stage before we wrap it, it's 165. Some of them like to go 170, but the majority of people do 165. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So always make sure before you do a long cook, especially over, especially overnight, make sure you clean your pellet nice and clean on the inside, because uh, like I said, it's gonna be eight hours nonstop. And so to help me with this cook, we're bringing in the big guns. We're bringing the Quad X Pro Chef Temps. So I'm gonna put one thermometer outside to monitor the heat around the brisket and one inside the brisket. So throughout the whole night, I know exactly what my pellet grill is running at. And I'm guessing about eight hours, we should hit about 165. But if not, then we'll take even farther until it hits the 165 mark. And I know a lot of professionals don't even put a temp at the beginning. They just leave it there because they've done it so many times and they know exactly what to do. So this is my second time attempting this. First one was a failure. I'm gonna take some precautions on this. That being said, let's go ahead and fire up our Z grill. All right, so our Z grill is up to temp 225 degrees. Let's go ahead and add this in here. Just like that. Let's throw our thermometer. And then, we got another one to keep an eye on the outside. Just like that. All right, so we'll be back 
tomorrow morning when it hits 165. All right, we are back and it's 6.30 in the morning. Then It's been on for seven hours. Look how good it looks. We're at 165 now. So let's go ahead and take it out and wrap it. All right, so now it's time to wrap it. I have some butcher paper. You can wrap it in foil if you want and you lose a little bit of that nice bark. Butcher paper takes longer, but I have a lot of time today, so we're good. Let's go ahead and wrap it. Give it a nice pull. Make sure it's nice and tight. So there we have it. So now we're gonna go back in there. I raised the temp up to 250 degrees. So now we're gonna wait till it hits two, internal temp of 200 and two degrees. So let's go ahead and take it back. We'll be back. There it is, 200. And three degrees. Let's go ahead and take it out and put it on the, the cooler. It took about three hours. So it's only a seven pound brisket. So we have our cooler ready. I want to set it there and then we'll be back in about three hours. We're going to let it rest for three hours. All right, so we are back. We are finally in the done stages. It's been resting for about three hours now. <sighs> Nervous. Got the knife ready. Let's take a look into this. Smells good though. Oh yeah. Look at that. Well, it's a lot juicier than the last one I did. Let's do a nice cut. Cause we're curious to find out if I did a good job. Uh, oh, yeah, look at those juices. Oh, man. I'm, I'm happy now. I was scared, but it come uh, it looks great. Has a nice bend to it. Look at that. Oh, it just falls apart. <laughs> this is good. Wow. It's juicy. Oh. Oh my god, it makes my day. This is great. Um when you're doing a brisket, always remember the weight of it, this was seven pounds. So it took a lot less than someone that has 10 or 12. Um, but I'm happy with it. It's juicy. It looks really, really good. The flavors of that rub, of the brisket rub from Lane's. Uh, there's a link in the description for Lane's products. Or if you like the thermometer that I use, 
there's also a link for that. Well guys, it was it was a big success compared to the last one. This this one came out great. And I'm so happy. And uh man. Ah. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.